Hello everybody and welcome to a new somewhat of a series. I guess it only really happens once a year for 12 days, but it's going to be called, I haven't exactly come up with a name for it yet, it will likely be called a Cardis Countdown. Uh, that's just a quick generic name, doesn't sound too bad, and it is, uh, it is alliterating. Uh, basically, <clears throat> it's uh, essentially uh, starting on the 14th of December going until the uh, the the 24th of December, uh, which is 12 days. I guess it's sort of like what Disney Docket and Astro Smokey do, where, you know, it's just 12 days, 12 cars in those, for each of those days. Just to get back into that uh, thing of daily uploading. Uh, this was originally supposed to go out yesterday, but I decided to make it a uh, cars countdown video, just because um, I, uh, I only have about... I want to say around seven cars ready uh, for the lineup. Uh, you have suggestions from a few friends. You have suggestions uh, that were made back in like July when I opened them. I did. I went back and uh, got all the ones that were on my Instagram. Uh, I actually am not. I could not uh, find uh, the comments uh, for all, from the YouTube. Uh, so those aren't on the list yet. I will go back in and look at the videos from that time frame and see what suggestions are on there, but for now it was just uh, a few suggestions and then there's one car uh, that I've just picked up myself because it's a pretty cool one that was released recently and I haven't reviewed it yet. Uh, but this is Grant Greenlight. Uh, this is a custom, of course, uh, never released by Mattel. Uh, and the reason I say Grant Greenlight is he was on that list, uh, that custom mainline list I made way back uh, earlier in the year. Uh, and that's that's sort of the custom name I gave for him, uh, and I really like it. I do know that there's a few other people I know uh, who refer to that character by uh, that name, and I even know uh, Disney Docket. He has the exact same custom uh, that I have here, uh, and that's what he calls it as well. Uh, so, to take a look at him, of course, you can see he looks very similar to Edwin Cranks, and that is exactly what he is supposed to look like if you go back in the movie. Uh, you can see that he is uh, I mean, he's like a modern version of Edwin. Uh, he's in the exact same place, uh, talking to a similar car, same paint scheme, all that. Uh, so that was a really, really cool Easter egg that I don't think a lot of people have noticed. Uh, I myself did not notice until uh, this year. I had noticed the character before, but uh, the, the, uh, the version that I used, uh, I was uh, a version on YouTube, uh, you could actually not see. Uh, these stripes on the car, it was just blur in the background. Uh, but with the new epilogue um, video that came, I don't know when it came out, I feel like it was this year. I'm not exactly sure when it was released, but it's a uh, high quality HD, like full screen version of that, uh, those epilogue scenes, so that really helps. And you can see where he appeared in the movie here. Um, of course, as, um, as you previously saw him compared to Edwin. You can see they have the exact same uh, or a very similar, uh, I guess, stripe pattern on the hood. Um, and on the side, they also have the exact same stripes. Uh, he does not have the ones on the roof or, or on top of those, uh, of his wheels, wheel, wheel well area. Um, obviously, I don't believe he actually has those in the movie. Uh, looking back at the photos, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the paint color is obviously a lot brighter on Edwin. Uh, in the movie, I believe they're closer to a similar color, uh, but this is the closest color that Jim Scavenger can get, and I really have no problem with that. Using um, the decals that he has, you can see, I, I believe he used, yeah, he definitely used decals. Um, to make the headlights and the taillights and the license plate, which I believe is, yeah, the license plate is actually custom, and I actually do know what that means. Uh, it's in sort of secret uh, between the original commissioner of the custom, um, Disney Docket, and then I sort of piled and say, hey, I'd appreciate if I could have one too. And luckily, Jim Scavenger is a very talented customizer and a very nice guy. And I was able to get one. So there's the rear. I actually do like uh, the way his like, rear, rear looks. You know, it just looks really clean. And the only complaint about this guy, only, only, uh, is that the window was sort of like uh, loose, but it's uh, not 
but it's only from certain angles, and uh, obviously it's pretty hard to perfect that. Uh, of course, if you're wondering how he was made, he was made using a Cora copper. Um, you can see exact same model, exact same even eye uh, color and sort of like expression. Um, you can barely barely see a, a tiny little bit of brown right there. Even like when I'm zooming in, it's very hard to see. Uh, and then the wheels are actually from a Marilyn, um, which uh, is accurate to the movie and also makes uh, Grant look a little bit better. I should say a lot better, actually. Uh, so anyways, that is the first episode of Cars Countdown. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.